guys, it's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel, and I honestly have not been fishing since the tournament. The weather's actually been pretty okay here, um, but if I can be honest, I've been stuck inside playing video games, not really feeling like getting the yak all loaded up and getting back out there, but we have some really cool upgrades to the Vibe Shearwater today. It's not the free flow braces. Maybe you saw it in the intro montage. I actually picked up the uh, XD or X Drive pedals from our good friend Alan Lockwood, sold them to us for a price that we just could not turn down. So we're gonna go out and try pedaling this thing around for the very first time ever. I got the steering handle installed last night and it was a pain in the butt, but we got it all installed. Big shout out to Amber for helping me and using a shop vac to suck the wires through the uh, little um, tubes that run down the interior of the boat so that we can hook up the steering handle. Anyway, that's enough intro. Let's go get out on the water and test this thing out. probably tell from the footage but once you get out of this little inlet where the uh, boat ramp is the current is so strong like there's no I probably wouldn't even be able to pedal against that so either the Lord is telling us we're not fishing today or we're gonna go actually try um, a creek instead of the lake so I'll hopefully see you guys there This is stop number three of the day, and it's still super windy, but we're back in a creek, so we'll be able to handle it. Dude, I was pulling out of the uh, that boat ramp, uh -huh. and uh, the driveway was like pretty terrible. Didn't even think about it. Hit this bump, I see the back of the kayak come completely up, slam back down. <laughs> cool shirt. Dude, thanks. I just got it. Is it um, hot? Huh? Is it hot? No, it's, it's like, uh, like all those fishing shirts. I got it on vacation and Amber talked me into it because it's like 50 bucks. I was like, I don't need a $50 shirt. She's like, no, it looks really cool. It's a cool color. So check this out. So it actually, it'll grip on the um, keel right there. And now I can just lift it up over the bar and set it down. Is that a design? Um, or it just happened to be no, it just happened to be that way. Okay. It's designed to like cut that's through the super, water. That's super convenient. So these are the X-Drive pedals from Vibe. You see you pedal back and forth. The fins flip and propel you forward. There is no reverse on these, which is why a lot of people get the Hobie so you can go in reverse. But I paid $1,300 for the kayak, not paying $1,000 just for the pedals. I'd rather take all that money and get a boat for crying out loud. Is it easier than paddling? Mm-hmm. It's a lot easier. Uh, or an appropriate speed? It's not super fast, but I haven't been able to like get it wide open. I installed the steering handle on, the, on my right side because if I'm holding a fish, I like to reel with my right hand. I can keep tension on it with my left hand while I adjust the steering handle with my right. But that was a pain in the butt to install. And so far it's pretty responsive, but I've heard a lot of people complaining that it actually comes loose over time, so we'll see about that as well. well once I get a, if I ever get a John boat, then I can get this going for each other. Heck yeah, dude. I'm almost ready. Oh, I was leaving the other one and I just laid my rods against my mirror over there and was like, all right, I'm gonna go put them back in the truck later and forgot, pulled off, heard my rods all just slap the ground. Those leaves. <laughs> uh, just riding around with my windows off. Um, there's like pollen all in the truck now. This section might not need any editing, dude. We just rolled the whole thing. So, put my main baits um, that I'm going to use today along with my terminal tackle.
my fish grips and my pliers. And then my scale and scissors I keep in the front. GoPro stuff like that. I'm gonna go park the truck and then we'll get on the water. I didn't even know he was on there. He's so small. I thought I had hooked into uh, like some trees or something. When I set the hook, I was just trying to pop out of the trees. I'm gonna get him back in the water because I'm about to hit some trees right here. So there's one fish, um, didn't even know he was on there, thought I just had some uh, brush or whatever because he was so small and he didn't really fight coming in. Uh, but hey, there's one in the boat. Um, I didn't even want to take a picture of him because I was getting blown back into the trees and uh, I'm missing a fishing rod.
sit down real quick and recap what happened because I know I was a little negative out on the water because I was really frustrated with what happened. I hooked into the fish, didn't even realize it was a fish, and I felt the wind blowing me back into the cypress tree, and I knew I would get tangled up, so I released the fish as quick as I could, and then pulled away from the tree, turned around, realized I was missing a rod, so I assumed that it got pulled in while I was handling the fish. It was the Lunkers TV edition of the Defender casting rod by Favorite, and so it's about a $100 to $120 rod. You can always find a discount. I don't know if I can replace that rod, though, because I know they discontinued it. The reel was a Shimano uh, SLX. It wasn't a DC. It was only, uh, I mean, only. It was like a $120 reel, which is pretty frustrating. So about $240 um, I just lost in the water. As frustrating as that is, let's talk about the pedal system because that's why I got out here today. And I gotta say, pedaling is a hundred times better than paddling. Oh my gosh, it's a difference maker. I had some issues with my center pod popping up. That's because the locking mechanisms that Vibe give you are just complete dog water. It's a video game term. You can kind of use your imagination to know if it's good or bad. I had that issue with the kayak when I first started out with just the regular pod, and so I guess I can reinforce it a little bit. It's just frustrating to have that problem. Vibe, come on, fix your freaking pod things. But the pedals themselves are absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much to our friend Alan for selling them to us at such a good deal. Um, I didn't really think that it was gonna be uh, something that I could afford, uh, and he just made me a really great offer. I guess to put it into perspective, I would say that if you are thinking about getting into kayak fishing, it's 100% worth it to get into one that you can pedal versus paddle only. Don't forget to take your paddle out there because things are going to happen. You're going to need your paddle, okay? Thank you guys for coming out there with me today. We did not get skunked. It got cloudy, so I switched to the white zoom trick worm, and it always, always produces out here on the Wadboo. Don't forget, you guys can follow me over on Instagram at Teachstone. I post every couple days, and I try to post here on YouTube every week to two weeks. The weather's getting a lot nicer. We'll be out on the water a lot more frequent. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to get in the truck, head home, edit this video for you guys, and I will catch you on the next one.